What up YouTube family? Listen, the clock is ticking. Let's get into it. All right, listen, the clock is ticking. What am I talking about when I mean the clock is ticking? Time. I'm talking about our time, your time, my time, and the time is now because the clock is ticking. And one thing that I've learned is that the clock doesn't wait for anybody. It doesn't slow down for anybody. God had a promise for the people of Israel. He said, go to the promised land and I've got a promise for you. And they spent 40 years in the wilderness running around and then they didn't even get the promise. Did God not keep his promise? Yeah, he kept his promise. He just gave it to the next generation. The first generation that he made the promise to didn't get in. So they didn't experience the promise, but God still kept his promise because he just gave it to the next generation. A lot of people are fooling around and not taking advantage of the time that they've been given and the clock is ticking and God doesn't run out of time. We do. He's not going to run out. He doesn't run out. He's eternal. He's timeless. Even though he operates in time, he's above all time. He doesn't run out, but we are linear. We are in time and we do. So get up and get going. The time is now. There is no, no more time to waste. There are too many men, too many women of God sitting on the couch, not doing what God is calling them to do, not using their talents, being lazy, burying it in the sand. And they're not realizing what I had to realize a few years ago, several years ago, that the clock is ticking and that time is not waiting. The question is, when God sees your face, since it's appointed unto man wants to die and then comes the judgment, will you have taken advantage of the time? The clock is ticking. Will you have taken advantage of the time? You are in that time. You are in the window of grace. Before the rain comes and the door to the ark closes, you are here right now and God is saying he's calling you to your time. And I talk to people about this all the time because I had to experience that in my life when I was not really getting up with the fire that was necessary that God has given me to go forward and to do what he has called me to do. And, and we've talked about it in past videos about your purpose and all of those different things. But the reality is that people have to start looking and start realizing that there's no better time than right now because the clock is ticking and it will not stop. One of my favorite verses that my dad gave us when we were a kid, preach it all the time because it has to do with time and it has to do with how David served his time in his life. Acts 13, 36, you wanna memorize that verse, memorize it because it summarizes David, David's life in one sentence. And you wanna memorize this verse. Acts 13, 36 says David, after he had served the purposes of God for the benefit of his generation fell asleep and he was finished. David, he served the purposes of God for the benefit of his generation, and then he fell asleep. He was finished. When you are finished, when I am finished, what would we have done with our time? Time is the greatest commodity. Time is the greatest currency. You, everybody wants money, but if you don't have time, what can money do? Everybody wants these things, but if you don't have time, what can you do with those things? Everybody wants stuff, but if you don't have time, what do you do with the stuff? Nothing, because time is the greatest currency, greatest commodity, greatest gift that God has given us. Even for those who may not even believe, because they have time, believing is still possible in the time. And so it's all about the time. And when David's time was done, you know what they said? He served the purposes of God. He benefited his generation. His generation was better for the fact that he was here. How many people are gonna be better because you're here? How many people are gonna grow stronger because you're here? How many people are gonna know more because you're here? How many people are gonna go further because you're here? How many people are gonna have a change of mindset and perspective because you're here? How many people are gonna reach their purpose because you're here? What are you doing in your time? Because it's TikTok, TikTok, the clock is ticking and it will not stop. David served the purposes of God. Whose purposes are you serving? Because when it's all said and done, he says, then comes the judgment. The time runs out and he just simply wants to know, what did you do with the time? One of the things that I always say when I'm talking to my friends or I'm on the road and I'm speaking or speaking at our church is I use the football illustration. I played ball. Y'all know that. And listen, when I was on the field, I would play on the field on Sunday in the NFL or on Saturday in college. I would always play that day thinking about the next day. On every play, I was thinking about the next day. So I was playing in the game thinking about the day after the game. 
You may be asking, why in the world would you be thinking about the day after the game while you're playing the game? Because the day after the game is when you watch the film. The day after the game is when you're held accountable for what you did during the window of the game. The day after the game is when the head coach sends you down and he pulls down the screen, turns on the overhead projector, picks up his red pointer and he points it and he just says, I just want to know if you were bearing the image of the decal on your helmet based on the playbook that I gave you or were you just out there doing your own thing during the game while the clock was ticking, while you were playing. And the reason why I say that is because we're supposed to be living today thinking about tomorrow. We're supposed to be playing in time, thinking about when we leave time. Because once you leave time, your head coach is gonna sit you down and he's gonna pull down his cosmic screen, turn on his Holy Ghost overhead projector, pick up his blood of Jesus red pointer and he's gonna point at you and he's gonna say, I just wanna know what you did in the time. I wanna know, did you serve the purposes of God? Was the people around you, the generation impacted? Did you make an impact or were you just out there doing your own thing? Don't answer that because we're about to watch it right now. 2 Corinthians 5.10, Paul says, For we all will go before the judgment seat of Christ. And he's talking to Christians and be recompensed for our good and our bad. And while your life is not correlated to where you spend eternity, your life has everything to do with what you get when you get there. It's called rewards. And in the time when we left the game, man, we had rewards or a lack thereof. Watch yourself. The, the Bible says, so that you receive your full reward. You want to look that up because I'm telling you while we're here, we have the opportunity. Now, obviously, I'm not saying you can live any old kind of way and just expect that God is going to be okay with that. If you can live any old kind of way in time, then you need to wonder whether you were ever saved in time. But at the same time, it is your belief in Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall have eternal life. So it is your belief that saves you but it is your life that God looks at and he says, what did you do in your time? Listen, I want you to take advantage of your time. TikTok, TikTok, for you men who are sitting on the couch right now and you're just watching TV, not being the man that you're supposed to be, not being the husband you're supposed to be, not being uh, uh, the passionate faith leader that you're supposed to be, not uh, telling your friends the right things but the wrong things so that they mess up in their time because of how you want to abuse time. Trust me, time is a gift. And if it's a gift, it's unwrapped and it's treated with care. If it's a gift, it's taken advantage of. If it's a gift, you're in love with it. If it's a gift, you are grateful. And you always know if somebody's grateful because of how they use the gift, how they appreciate the gift. If you're a woman right now and you're not taking advantage of your time, you're not being the wife, you're not being the mother, you're not being uh, the coworker, you're not being the friend, you're giving bad advice, you're just giving stuff based on feelings and circumstances and not really putting people in position to take care of their time and you're not taking advantage of your time and you know that based on how you're living right now, God will not say, well done my good and faithful servant, time. We have it now. The great thing is the Bible says the Lord will give you the years that the locusts have taken away. So if you don't feel like you've been taking advantage of your time, guess what? You still have a gift, time, and it's time to make a change. It's time to get up and go further, go faster, go harder, rise higher. It's time for you and me to take advantage of time, to look at time and say, yeah, that's a gift. I'm grateful. Let's get it. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord and know that it will not go in vain, both in time and in eternity. Listen, you know, there are many people who just need to hear this message, who just need to be encouraged to take advantage of the time. So do what you know to do. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Let's get it. I'll see you next time.